So can, I know you've, yeah. you've got affiliations and you've, with, with various labs and you yeah. know a lot of these technologies. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about these technologies so we can biopsy an embryo now. Mm -hmm. Are you, you and your embryologist can mm -hmm. biopsy an embryo, take a sample. Mm -hmm. We can now freeze the embryo reliably and Correct. dependably yes. with almost no detriment to the embryo. Correct. And then these little biopsies go to special labs. What mm -hmm. do they do in these labs? Uh, unpack this a little bit, this yeah, incredible so, technology. So when it comes to the lab in a small tube that, uh, you know, so all the cells, uh, you know, it's about five to seven cells. So just four or five cells is a microscopic it's a, it's a very, sample. It is very minute. Uh, oh, minute know. sample. Yeah. So it's like four or five small hair like things. This is microscopic. Yeah. You cannot see yeah. this with the eye. So you get a little tube. You get a series of tubes like on dry ice or something. They come in okay. cold. Come in They're cold. shipped in. Yeah. Let's say to a central lab from all these different IVF yeah. clinics. Yeah. They get these samples. Yeah. Then what happens to these little these gets, little files? You know, in then them? you know it's then the DNA is being extracted from there, and, okay. the, and the DNA gets amplified. So right, we so you can yeah. magnify. So we are making um, you know few thousand copies of of the, the DNA. So of you the double same, it, double it, double, double it. it. And, and you body. double that, yeah. and you double that, and all of a yeah. sudden, the DNA of just the tiny bit of DNA, yeah. all of a sudden is, is, yeah. is amplified millions of okay. times, right? So we have the copies then. Okay. And then um, then there are other, that, that needs to be tagged with a different, uh, you know, specific uh, genes, which is specific for that particular chromosome. You know what that's called, Anil? You know, yeah. it's called barcoding. It's barcoding. Coding. So they take this DNA. Yeah. We put every and, chromosome. And they chop it up chop and it up. barcode it. Yes. All right. So now each of these little broken up segments has a little tag on either yeah. side. Then what do you do in them? So once they, they get tagged, then it goes into the, the machine. What and, is the machine? Well, it's... Um, it's um, yeah, it's it, it's amplified process of yeah. DNA, and it goes, you know, then, you know, some of those uh, the um, the nucleotides, which are the things you know, that make the, up the steps that make up the, up the, DNA, the DNA. You know, it gets incorporated, and certain ions are uh, uh -huh. uh, released, and that ion is then registered. Uh, so it's a it's a largest mm -hmm. spectro photometer, what, you know what uh, we can call it, uh, and uh, then uh, it gets. I, I, I'm going to explain this now for people. Yeah, here's a cell phone, an, an iPhone here. Yeah, there are little chips in here. Yes, with me megapixels, these tiny, tiny little cells. What this machine does, in Nil, is it turns each little pixel into a test tube. Yeah, so you get millions and millions of data points yeah. that then go into a special computer mm -hmm. and that computer uses multiple parallel processing blows my mind Correct. and puts all these signals back together with the barcode mm -hmm. and poof you get, get a read the you get a get read the what's called a, a call yeah it's 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 a high level of computing high level levels of analysis and it was only possible after the Human Genome Project, which mapped all, you know, 23 pairs of chromosomes oh. that, you know, the mapping is there. So we have right. a reference library and then oh. that, you know, the amplified DNA, the processed sample was read against um, the, the genome. The genome, yeah. what's basically normal with, with a little bit of change. Okay. So, this has evolved in parallel yes. with the world of genetics. Yes. So, we've been able to borrow and share the technology. Uh -huh. So, it's the field of genetics, powerful computing, mm -hmm. microchips. Yes. As all this has come together, yeah. we've been able to utilize it mm -hmm. to advance reproduction, make reproduction more successful, more dependable.
allow people to have babies in, in, in very difficult yeah. circumstances sometimes, despite difficult circumstances. And also for the genetic, uh, inherited genetic diseases, 